All right, so right now I have my uh, my brand new restored iPad, as you can see. So now we're going to put this baby into uh, DFU mode. So I don't know if you can see her or not. So it's very simple. You hold this and this. So you hold the sleep button and the home button together for a little bit while this turns off. And just wait a little bit. And then yeah, it disappeared from iTunes. So then you could just hold it and put it into DFU mode. Hopefully I did that. Yep. Now we're into DFU mode. Now the issue with Green Poison was that every time I would be getting a failure. So I'm going to try this new version, but there's a little bit of a trick. So now what I want you to do is open up Terminal and then do CD, take uh, Green Poison, show package contents of your Green Poison, double click contents, then Mac OS. And actually, I just want you to go into Mac OS. So I want you to do that. And now you're going to type in sudo dot slash and green poison. And so now this will come up. Um, and after that does, just click jailbreak. Now, I have to do this a bunch of times because sometimes it just wouldn't work. Um, and the w way you know if it works or not is that the kernel gets uh, uploaded. So, yep, you see fetching kernel cache. If you can see here, um, I have this unable to find, you know, whatnot. And then it starts doing other stuff. So hopefully it, it starts now. If not, then you just, yep, see, so now it started jailbreaking. And you just let this process run um, until until it resets. And then I can show you how to. So now I don't know if uh, they fixed the city issue or not because this is my first time trying the new version. But if not, I can also show you how to get city on here using Red Snow. Um, and that'll just take a second while this jail breaks. And let me. Oh, so now we're uh, restarting. This should be a Joe Broken iPad now. And uh, what I like to do, as you saw on there, is uh, when it says choose a new kind of iPad or iPhone or iPod, that's when I do the jailbreak, and then I do a, res uh, a restore from backup or, or whatnot, because I feel like that's the, the best thing to do. Okay, so hopefully that's Joe Broken. If not, yep, we have the loader app. I don't know if you can see that. So you can just click here. A little bit harder on this iPad here. Oh, I gotta connect to my internet. Okay, I'm now on the net. I'm going to attempt to install City. I don't know if it's still working or not. It says loading sources. It's a little slow. It's taking a while, right? So let's say that you don't want to wait for this because it takes too long and this is a really shitty uh, way to install Cydia. Um, take, if you have Red Snow, just get uh, the latest version of Red Snow, which is uh, Beta 6. Just browse for the iPad. Uh, let's see, I have iPad right here. Then you're going to go and do, I usually just put my device in DFU mode again before I start anything. So, see here, this case is really tough. So I'm putting in a few mode, and I'm gonna go in here, and uh, just click install Cydia. And once if it's in DFU mode already, it'll just do the jailbreak. So now Red Snow will run on this thing again. It just says waiting for reboot, downloading jailbreak data, because they both use Lime Rain, from what I believe. Um, it doesn't really matter which one you use, they're both pretty much doing the same thing. 
except green poison adds, you know, whatever the untethering is. And uh, it's also doing some other stuff. By the way, this case is a Belkin case, and uh, it's probably the best iPad case I've ever seen. Even better than Apple's. It's like clear. And I don't know, it's just very, it makes it look very nice. It still protects it. So, here's the moving applications part. Still going. Hopefully this finishes fast. This is a little bit more of a hassle for a jailbreak than I've seen before, but at least it works. I got my uh, jailbroken iPod here, and uh, this doesn't seem to have any issues. You know, it's even got the cool boot logo when you're uh, when you're restarting or uh, respringing, and uh, I thought that was very impressive. So on bundles, syncing file systems. Okay, so I'm getting a. This is Red Snow finishing here. And, uh. Wait for my iPad to load up. And by the way, this process that I just did is not iPad only, it works on the iPod Touch, the iPhone 4, which are all Joe Boken with Green Poison right now, because it works. It just has to get it to work. So. There we go, we have Cydia on uh, on my iPad, and now, you know, just open, um, initialize file system, whatnot. If you want to update to the latest Cydia, just add uh, iRepo.us to your sources, and then download latest Cydia source from there, and from that, you can add, um, you can download the latest Cydia that's out right now, until uh, Sarek decides to release, um, at least his version, whatever that is, 1.1 or something like that. So, now there you go, we got Cydia running, working. Um, so far, I haven't seen any problems with this, but, you know, obviously nothing's perfect. So, hopefully it stays that way, though. Hopefully there's no issues.